peace, 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 peace. It's dark, dude, and I'm back in the building. Yo, 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 what's good, Royal Bloodline family? What's good, dark, dude, is the family? What's popping, what's popping, what's popping? What's good, what's good, what's good, y'all? Y'all see this video, y'all already know. Thumbs up the video, like the video, share the video. What's good, what's good? Gonna wait a little moment for everybody to join us. I know the notification squad out here. I know the Jiggas, they out there somewhere coming back from vacation, you know, renting out $3,000 hotels and whatnot. I know the Pamba Jericho man, they out there getting to that 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 dollar. Alright, so let's get right into this. Of course, take out your pen and pad. Everybody who's been doing all the mantras. Everybody who's been doing all the mantras. Uh, since we started the Sheba work, you have now. Remember when we first did the mantras, we were I was showing you where the mantras was. Uh, charging up your body so that you could actually even properly be able to work with Shiva and you felt the electricity from then till now if you've been doing the mantras you are now qualified especially when it comes uh, following that mantra discipline to the T that's why it's important to follow it Right? Because the numbers that I give you put you to certain seed heads that qualify you to do more intense and more powerful rites. So you who've been doing the work, y'all are qualified for the Shiva Rati rites. The Shiva Rati rituals. Right? Um so from today through Monday, we're going to be hitting the Shiva Rot three rites, right? So it's four days of Shiva Rot three rituals, and then we're going to follow it with one big Shiva ritual, and we are done with Shiva for the year. So family, we're going out with a bang, right? The Shiva Rot three rites is good for. One of the things it's good for is, is removing or clearing deep-seated karmic debt. What that means is, I know some of y'all have been doing those karmic mantras with Saturn. It's not going to cut it. You need more formula. All right? It'll work a little bit. But if there is a deep-seated karmic uh, debt that you have, we all have. You gotta use the, uh, the the proper times and shortcuts. One of them are Shiva Ratri rights, but you gotta know what you're doing. So, if the karmic thing, the karma thing, is really really hitting on you, uh, and it's a problem, and um, you definitely want to. Take advantage of the Shiva Ratri rights. Definitely want to take advantage of this work and you want to do it to the T. It will work. Um, of course, I'm talking about Shiva, so working with Shiva's power times properly in the Shiva Ratri rights, definitely uh, Shiva will give you whatever blessings will amplify Shiva's ability to. Uh, hit on some of your desires. That's important. Uh, fulfillment of wishes. That's another thing. A lot of these Vedic deities have that, uh, that attribute. So that'll happen. Um, what else? What else? Um, removal of sins. Um, don't abuse that. But if there's anything in the past that you just really want 
I'm not gonna say delete it, but if you wanted to put in some type of work to energetically remove it, you know, a lot of us have things in the past that we want removed energetically. So if enough time has passed, there's certain formulas that you can work that will remove that. Like I said, don't abuse it. If you try to abuse it, it's not gonna work, right? The energies that we deal with, very intelligent. So definitely operate in a high moral standard at all times, all right? Uh, debt, energetic debt, financial debt, any type of debt, uh, Shiva Ratri rights will deal with and take care of for you. All right, so if you got any type of debt, another reason to take advantage of the Shiva Ratri rights. Paid family, just wanna throw the seed in there. Paid family, stick around after this video. I got something for y'all. Got something for y'all, all right? The Shiva Ratri rights also work on the mind and removing the mind and it's called minimalizing the mind so in vedic science we understand that the mind gives us a lot of problems right because the mind psyche or whatever always wants to protect itself so it, so it does irrational things when we are in the time of shivaratri rites the mind is completely minimized. So ego, all of that stuff is removed, right? And this allows us to function at higher states of consciousness for an hour at a time at the time of Shiva Ratri power times, right? I will go deeper into that uh, tomorrow, right? And then last but not least, when it comes to uh, Shiva Ratri rituals. If if you did the um, the other um, rites of the night with the the Mahadevis, um, it's going to give you an experience. Right? It's going to give you an experience. So Shiva Ratri rites at the power times that you're chanting the mantras. It should give you an experience that you didn't even know exists. A certain level of comfort, calmness, and euphoria. Something you not you have not experienced before. So you should be looking forward to that. You should definitely be looking forward to that. Uh, any questions before I continue? Any questions before I continue? I know y'all been going hard. Um, I'm going to give y'all the steps and things y'all need to do to prepare your body properly doing these rites. Somebody asked a question. Is it okay to redo the rites once you have the experience? Good question. You want to wait a little bit? Wait for six months or a year before you do it again. You want to wait. Let it, let the science do what it does. Definitely don't need to overdo it. Very good question though. So one, I want y'all, I hope y'all writing. Eat light, eat as light as possible for optimum results try to eat one meal a day if you're doing this for real for real you will eat one meal a day anytime before 6 p.m uh, bathe before 6 p.m the first right is at 6 p.m all right wear all white if you don't have all white just make sure you have clean clothes and light only black candles, as many black candles as you want. If, if you notice, 
Eating light is, um, that's something very consistent in the science, right? Um, for optimum results, you can't have a lot of food in your stomach. It, it, it don't go together. So get used to eating light, y'all, if, if y'all really want to, like, continue diving into this science. Try, try to make it a regular thing to eat light. Just throwing that out there. All right. So start writing. 6 p.m., 10 p.m., 1 a.m., 4 a.m. Those are the Shiva Ratri power times. You should try to hit all four times every day from now until Monday. Now the mantra discipline, I want you to take it down to 27. So every mantra in the, the mantra discipline, I want you to take it down to 27. I want you to get try to get it done before 6 p.m. That, that That's very easy. All right. But when 6 p.m. hits, you're going to chant Om Namah Shivaya. 108 times. Or from 6 p.m. to 6.45 p.m. You're going to start on time. Either 108, but if you, if you have the energy, 6 p.m. to 6.45 p.m., right? 10 p.m., same thing, either 108 or 10 p.m. to 10.45 p.m., 1 a.m., same thing, 4 a.m., same thing, every day from now until Monday. Sorry, from now until Sunday. So it's four days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Four days. Hit all four times. Don't let anything throw, stop, make you miss one time. If you can hit all four, you're doing this right perfectly. If you miss one, just continue. But don't miss. Can you do this as a, I'm, I'm reading a question. Can you do this as a beginner? I'm new to all of this and been feeling called to my true self. Um, I need one of the jig to, to, to hit them up. As a matter of fact, text me. All right. Um, any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Now, I don't want to go on strike because I go on strike. I'm only going to do videos in the pay family. I will, I will straight up retire from YouTube. So, the homework. This is how we're gonna know if y'all doing this. 6 p.m., 10 p.m., 1 a.m., 4 a.m. You're supposed to post. You're supposed to post right before or right after you do your your mantras. Right. So you only got one mantra to do. Om Namah Shivaya. At six, ten, one a.m. Okay, you got one mantra to do. That means it should not be hard for you to post every time that you do a Shiva Ratri right. I don't see enough posts. I'm out of here, yo. We abstaining from alcohol and cannabis while doing these rights, right? Yes. Yes. That eating light, uh, that includes no alcohol and no weed. 
Uh, Avi, I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you. Uh, give me a few hours. I'm gonna call you later. Yeah, y'all should set your alarms. What y'all need to do is post your schedules in your calendars and post that to the group. Make it look organized. You know, set the example. Six, ten, one, four. Every day from now until Sunday. Right? Now, at six, ten, one a.m., four a.m., you will experience something. You will experience a couple of things. You will you will feel certain things. I don't want I won't talk too much on it. I want y'all to take yourself through the experience and, and write about it. Uh, paid family, what time is it? 11.28. I'm going to be live in the paid family at 11.35 a.m. So that's in seven minutes. I want y'all to be on that joint on time because I got some stuff for y'all. I got some real, real strong, heavy sauce for y'all, paid family. That's a good question, Indigenous GQ. What if we don't get off until after 6 p.m.? Well, chant in your head, damn it. It's only 108. Go to the bathroom. Om Namah Shivaya 108 times. Uh, improvise, improvise. Make it happen. What's your page, Henry? If you look on the Dark Lotus in my county, you go to the right. It's a, thing, it's a thing that says join. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. This thing right here says join. That's how you join the pay family. Yeah. yeah. This is the only occult pay channel in the entire YouTube. The only pay channel in the entire YouTube family. Family, we at the top. We at the top. But yes, I'm looking forward to y'all homework. Hey, family. I'll see y'all soon. One love.